Hi guys, welcome to Shirley Obsessed. Today I have an unboxing and a first impression on this Influenza box that I got two days ago. This is on, well this has YSL products. I know they're two lipsticks but I do not know the colors because they did like a sneak peek video and I saw that they were lipsticks but I didn't want to see the... Oh my god, why are there so many planes? So, I saw that they were lipsticks but I didn't see the colors because I didn't want to like ruin the surprise for me. If you don't know what Influencer is, it's basically a website that you go and sign up for. You do surveys, you're active on the website and then they send you free stuff for you to try out and review. So yeah, I got this box because I am a YouTuber and I do YouTube videos on VOD. But I have stopped being active on the website because I just get so lazy. I mean, if you have a lot of time and you want free stuff, girl, that is your best friend. Influencer will be your best friend. Just like this agent, pinch me. But if you're, if you work, go to school, and have a whole bunch of stuff to do, then it's not practical for you. So that is the card that we got. This is, I believe, Cara Delevingne um, promoting the lipsticks, and these are the Rouge Per Couture. <laughs> they say that in one stroke, get luxurious rich color that dresses the lips with intense hydration, antioxidant care with its signature couture jewel-like packaging. This lipstick symbolizes edgy style and ultimate feminine strength. That's really cool. I'm gonna go on the Sephora website to see how much they cost because that is very important. Um, especially knowing YSL, this is gonna be like a $30 lipstick. Um, wow, my computer is going so slow today. Okay, well, I wait for my computer to load. These are the lipstick packaging. They are in the traditional YSL gold packaging. And there are two. There's the number 9 and number 19. Um, number 9 is called Rose Stiletto and number 19 is called Fuchsia. I'm going to do the Rose Stiletto first. Another plane? Ooh, so this is what the packaging looks like. It's really like heavy. Like, not super heavy, but like heavy for a lipstick. And it is in the square packaging. It's all gold and it says YSO in black. And then on the bottom, it just says the number 9. It doesn't say the name of the lipstick, which kind of sucks. And then you open it up. And oh, that's, that's beautiful. I like this color. I love like brownie nudes, rosy nudes, browns. This is like a mixture of all of them. On camera it's actually coming up a little bit lighter than what it is in person. In person it's more like mauvey brown. That's what it looks like. Oh my god, these are $36 a lipstick. That's very expensive. And I thought the NARS Audacious lipsticks were expensive. <laughs> um, this one is described as a rich berry rose. And honestly, yeah, I can see it. Maybe with a little bit of chocolate. It'll be more specific, but yeah, I'm gonna put this on. My hair is like crazy, like I, I don't feel my hair today. But yeah, I'm gonna put this on and see how it looks. So they say with one swipe, intense color and hydration. Here we go. That was really hydrating actually. <laughs> like literally, it just felt like a creamy goodness on my lips. And it's really pigmented. This one is really easy to put on, like I did not even have to like tug on my lips, it just glided on my lips super smoothly and they're really really creamy and very hydrating. I love this color, I am obsessed with this color right now. So that is the color on my lips, that is Rose Stiletto. It doesn't make my teeth look either whiter or more yellow. So that's good. I really like this color. I absolutely love this color a lot. <laughs> All right, and the other one is a, ooh, that's a fuchsia. What is this called again? This one is called fuchsia, okay. <laughs> um, that is really, really, really bright. I mean, for some reason it's looking lighter on camera, but it's a little bit darker on, like in real life. And this is described as a bright fuchsia pink, so. Let's put these on. That is hella bright. Oh my god. Oh 
I wasn't even recording. Okay, so this is what the bright fuchsia pink looks like, or it's called fuchsia. And I really like this. It this is actually a really pretty color for spring to summer, not necessarily for fall, but it's really pretty. I like this one. Mm. I should do more videos like this. Hello, Rose. How are you today? These are definitely colors that are dupable and you can find at a cheaper alternative. And um, I tried to find dupes in my collection, but apparently I have none. Um, for the fuchsia, I found nothing that looked the same. And then for the rose to little, the two that were most similar were Urban Decay Fiend and the Revlon Color Burst Matte Balm in Sultry. So. Those are the two that kind of came close to it, but was not the exact dupe. Um, today I have to work from 4 to 8, I have a short shift. But by the time I get out, it's going to be nighttime, and I won't be able to film my like last impression or if it lasted a long time or if it feathered and stuff like that. So I will leave that in the description box below, so make sure you check that out if you want to know how it wore throughout the day. because. I don't have time for that today, so I'm sorry, I'm very sorry. The formula is really, really creamy, hydrating. You don't even feel it on your lips. Like, I don't feel it at all. These are really easy to apply to your lips. When I was applying them, I had no trouble whatsoever. It just like hugged at every single line on my lips, and it was like, doom, doom, doom. It was really, really easy, and it is true with one swipe, you do get a lot of pigmentation, so you don't have to keep rubbing back and forth to get the color that you want. And you definitely get hydration in this formula. My lips are kind of dry and chapped, but this definitely gave me some, some water. These have a really slight scent to them. It's not really floral or like a bakery type scent. I can't really pinpoint what the smell smells like, but as soon as it's on your lips, you don't really smell it. So if you hate scents or stuff like that, it's not a really big thing to worry about. Oh, on the Sephora website, they say that these have rosemary extract, which provides moisturizing benefits to support natural skin restoration. It has carrot extract, which conditions lips. Yeast extract, which um, is comprised of a complex mixture of proteins, sugars, and amino acids. It acts as an excellent humectant. Humectant? Humectante. In, in Spanish, it's called humectante, but in English, I don't know how to say it. <laughs> and it supports natural cell turnover of the skin. So that's really awesome if you are into that stuff. Now, for $36, are they worth it? If you have the money to spend, sure, go ahead and get it. If you don't have the money to spend, you can definitely find these colors in the cheaper alternative. These have 0.13 ounces for reference. The NARS Audacious lipsticks have 0.14 ounces. The MAC lipsticks have 0.1 ounce which is really really small apparently I had no idea I thought they had a lot of product um let's see another one Too Faced does not tell me and the Wet n Wild lipsticks have 0.11 ounces so that's a little reference for you guys this is pretty much all for this video I don't really have anything else to say about these lipsticks other than they feel great they go on really really easy but they are expensive they are $36 if you want, go ahead and try it out at Sephora, pick it up for yourself and try it out. I will leave whether they bleed it on me, whether they did not last, whether they stained or stuff like that in the description box, in the description box below if you want to know. And another plane, are you kidding me? Bro, it's been like five planes in the matter of 10 minutes. No, have I been filming for 10 minutes? I've been filming for like 20 minutes because I don't know. Anyways, thank you so much for watching and I love you guys so very much. I will talk to you in my next video. Bye!